Melbourne-born Prue Pitock worked in advertising and that led her to her dream job illustrating and designing record covers for EMI Music. She then started to do illustrations and she is illustrating the most beautiful picture books at the moment. We're going to talk to her about her books, her work and her new one, which is written by Carol Wilkinson. Prue, it is lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Thanks for inviting me. My pleasure. So, Pro, you came to illustration through design. I did. I did art and design at Preston Tech, and that led me to a sort of short stint in advertising, which I which I quite enjoyed. But my sister was working at World Record Club, so for us, us oldies might remember the old World Record Club out in Hartwell. Um, and I was desperate to get a job with my big sister. Yeah, so I applied for a job, and yeah, worked there for about eighteen months. And we re-released albums um, from, uh, yeah, England or whatever that were coming through. They had to be re-released in Australia and, um, yeah, a nice little art studio doing all that. Did you, have you got a favourite um, album that you did or a couple that you just went, oh, I'm um, really oh, happy? Actually, the, the picture I've got here, you can just see that, was the Selfish Giant. So that was... Uh, a sort of kids album and it, I should know who, who was the uh, composer of the music I'll have to look into that but yeah that was one of the albums I did yeah and we were, we were free to sort of do whatever we liked really it was a great job so it was terrific. And so what led you to illustrating books? Uh, well during whilst I was working there I thought oh I'd love to do a kids book so in back in those days you go through the, the phone book and uh, found a publisher and ended up, yeah, illustrating a little junior novel by Mavis Thorpe Clark. Um, yeah, so I did that. And then I actually, well, I think I did one small job for them after that and then sort of didn't do anything else until virtually about five years ago. Looking at that first book, <laughs> looking yeah. at that first book to the work you do now, your style's really changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Although I, I guess I've got some little black and white drawings inside so I'll just see. yeah oh here we go saying that I can't find anything no that is the law yeah. when you go yeah. to show so still sort of the little black and white sort of hatching kind of style I like to do yep. yeah. your style is so spare but it's so beautiful what do you work with um, pen and ink and then coloured pencils I'm really fond of now. A bit of gouache. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Grey lead, I like, you know, just even graphite pencils, great to work with. So, yeah. Do you like to have a palette or do you have everything there for you and just go with what suits you? No, I like to have a palette, yeah, definitely. I think that yeah, makes it easier and just so you can follow it through the whole, the whole book if you've got yeah, the palette sorted yep. in the early days. Yeah. So with the books that you've done, Isla compared to Matthew Flinders, they're quite different, top, very different topics, very different books. Yeah. How was the yeah. process for Matthew Flinders illustrating that? Oh, it was very exciting because it was the first um, fiction, non-fiction book that I've done. Um, so, yeah, very exciting. But a lot of research, you know, into the historical side of costume, what they ate, the boats, you know, all of that was really important to get it right. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed that process. I learned so much, which was terrific, yeah. How much did you interact with Carol? Because the author is Carol Wilkinson. Did you work yeah, with her much? Um, not a great deal, no. It was mainly through Donna and Marianne. Um, I did, yeah, meet Carol on one occasion. We had a chat and, yeah, so that was great. Yeah. But, yeah, great story. It, it is a fascinating, and it's yeah, beautiful. Brilliant. It'll, yeah, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, very, very proud of it. Often, I know for writers, when we're doing um, non-fiction, particularly historical, there's always stuff that falls off the table that you just can't get in there. Mm. Were there favourite bits that you had that you just had to let go that you couldn't get in? Um, probably not so much with me, I guess. I guess the author would have a lot of material that she can't sort of include and it has to be cut because it's essentially you know a picture book or a slightly bigger one um no i think yeah no, i think i was pretty happy with what i was able to portray in the illustrations yeah 
How does it compare illustrating, um, say, or in advertising to picture books? How, how different is the process? Oh, well, it, it would be so different now anyway because everything's done on computer and advertising. But, yeah, there wasn't a lot of scope for illustration in, in, in advertising when I was doing it. It was mainly sort of copy-paste, stick things down, you know, finished art, that sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, not a great deal. And that's why I like loved uh, moving over to World Record Clubs where I could just draw, you know, album covers all day. It was terrific, yeah. Now, I'm assuming being the clever person you are, you don't just illustrate. Have you got other areas that you love in the art field? Um, I did a lot of ceramics, like hand-painted ceramics, when my children were little. Um, and that was fun. I'd do it with a girlfriend and, yeah, we, we did a lot of that and I sold to a few shops in Melbourne. Um, I like to paint as well, but painting's kind of messy, so I, I like the illustration. You can sort of keep it keep it on, onto the table and not make a huge amount of mess and need a heap of space. Um, yeah, I'm, that's probably about it, really, in the creative side at this point. I just love the illustration. I'm really enjoying it. Which is lovely. Have you got favourite yeah. illustrators, you know, when you wander through, when we could wander through pictures? Oh, there's, yeah, there's so many. I mean, E.H. Shepherd, I love his, you know, work. It's just beautiful. Um, oh, gee, you've got me now. Oh, yeah. So, Sophie Blackwell, I love her work. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you mm. at the minute, Prue? What are you getting into? Prue? What are you reading at the moment? Oh, what am I reading? I've just finished American Dirt, actually. What did you think? I actually really liked it. I know it's had a bit of, yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I really enjoyed it. It was great. Mm. Very good. Yeah. No, I'm interested because so I need a new book. <laughs> oh, I'll give you one. Um, yeah. There's been a lot of argy-bargy sort of about it, but I found it, it just opened my eyes. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Yes, I, yeah, it did. Yeah, you might. It's very, yeah, very interesting. Mm. As a kid, what role did um, books play in your life? Yeah, I had a nice collection of books. Yeah, I loved, loved, loved yeah, picture books and reading as a child. So, yeah, a few favourites. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you, can you remember the favourites? Um, Sarah and Hoppity was a favourite of mine. It was a little girl and her naughty rag doll and I think when she did something naughty it was always Hoppity's fault. Yes, yeah, so that was good. <laughs> um, oh, gee, you've got me going now. The Big Ball of String, I loved that. Oh, um, I remember that one, yep. Yes. And Are You My Mother, that sort of Dr Zeus series, yeah. And have you, I wish I had duck feet. There was a few in that, yeah, which were a lot of fun. That are you my mother kind of traumatised me on one level. That poor bird, yeah. I was beside myself. <laughs> I know it was a bit sad, wasn't it? Poor yeah. Baby bird. <laughs> so, yeah. Brooke, what's next for you as an illustrator? Have you got your next project <gasps> lined up? I haven't really, but I'm just working on a couple of ideas for myself. And a girlfriend is a chef, and we're sort of collaborating a bit to see if maybe we could do a little kids' cookbook together, which would be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and just, yeah, just playing around with a few different techniques and ideas. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Oh, that's lovely. It's beautiful. Mm. Too. Pro, I yes. am absolutely that's thrilled right. about um, Matthew Flinders. It's the most gorgeous book and the words are fantastic, but the pictures yes. just take it to a whole other level. Oh, so thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much, So Yeah. And it's been lovely Great. to talk to you about it and I look forward to chatting more as it goes and travels as far as he did. Yes, yeah, can't wait to the release date. Very exciting. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sue.